Hey logo designers, today I wanted to talk to you about inverted logos and how you can get different results for inverted logos using the settings panel of Logo Package Express. An inverted logo is simply a logo where some of the elements are in color and some of the elements are in white. And these types of logos are useful for putting on top of a color background or a photo. So let me show you some of the ways we can customize the inversion results using the color settings in Logo Package Express. You'll want to go up to the upper right corner and click on the gear icon. From there, you'll want to go to the color tab. At the bottom of this window, you'll see settings for inversion, and by default, automatic is selected. Automatic inversion takes the logo artwork and keeps the logo mark in color and changes all of the other elements to white. So whatever you've selected as the logo mark will retain its color, and if you've selected a logo type or logo type and tagline, those elements will all be turned to white. But in some cases, you're going to want to have more control over what elements are white and what elements are not. So back inside of the settings window, we can turn on manual. Let's see what happens when we generate logos with manual applied. I'm going to click make web logos. And now you'll see that there is a different result. Before, the only thing that stayed in color was the logo mark, but now the logo mark and the tagline are in color. So how is this happening? Well, this is because we have this slider here in the inversion settings, and the slider works by allowing you to adjust what values of color will be converted to white. So the value of a color is its relative lightness or darkness. And if we look at the original color logo, there is a different value of the green than there is to the purple. And with the slider set to the middle with a value of 50, the purple color is dark enough to be changed to white, while the green color is not dark enough to be changed to white. So what happens if we change the slider? If we move the slider up, then none of these colors will be so dark that they will be able to be turned to white. Let's make web logos and see what happens. In this case, none of the colors have been turned to white because none of the colors are as dark as the value that has been set. If we push the slider the other way, all of the colors will be turned to white. Let's see what happens. I'll click Make Web Logos, and all of the components have been turned to white. This is because all of the colors are darker than our setting allows. So for this particular logo, right in the middle is about perfect. If I make the web logos, we'll see that the purple has changed to white and the green is still in color. And this is a pretty desirable look for this logo. So it will be up to you whether or not you want to rely on the automatic conversion and just keep the mark in color, or if you want to make fine-tuned adjustments by going to manual inversion. And those are the different methods you can use to make inverted logos inside of Logo Package Express. Thanks for watching.